guys, you're never too young to make the right decisions. You're never too young to do the things that's right and to stand up for what is right. We're in a society now where it's cool to watch other people get picked on. It's the norm to stand by and do nothing when somebody's being hurt and when they're being ridiculed. It's cool to just FaceTime an assault, to FaceTime some sort of uh, misfortune being done to someone and upload it. That's the courage and the bravery of today. Watch others be hurt and upload it and get likes and shares rather than stand up for what is right. You know, something about me, I've always been able to do that, stand up for people. It's something that I am proud of and happy to have. And I believe I get that. I see my father have this strength. He would always stand up for what's, you know, stand up for himself. I believe my mother is the same way. She's a bit more quiet in her mannerism and how she does it. But my father, for sure, I remember him always standing up and facing whatever was wrong. And over my years, I remember as a child being so afraid watching him standing up to someone because you know i don't i'm thinking there's going to be a fight i'm thinking there's going to be something going on um and i was afraid but it wasn't that my father was just not he was fearless and so i find myself that same way now with that i have wisdom i'm not going to go i know things that i don't need to get involved in i need to live i need to be alive i need to be able to take care of my children and see another day but nevertheless, I've always had the ability to stand up to individuals. I was not quick to get into things and get into fights and things of that nature. But after a while, now physical fights, I've had a couple. I wasn't asking for it, but I finished it. I finished it. <laughs> it just had to happen. I, that's how I was at the moment. But I didn't go looking for it. If it came down to self-defense and other times, I will admit I was a hothead at some point. I can really take a lot, but if I was provoked too much, we gonna have a talk. We gonna have a wall to wall talk. But I'm glad that, you know, God changed my heart in that sense because there's only so far you can go with that before you're six feet under or behind bars. And now you're gonna get the disciplines you should have had before you got to that place. So I'm thankful to that for that. But with that being said, to stick to this video, I've always had the, the ability to speak up and stand up for other people. I cannot stand to see people being bullied and done wrong, um, being taken advantage of. And that was something that even when I was in the military, I was able to do. If you are not able to stand up and speak up for yourself, you're not gonna do it for anybody else. Sometimes you have to stand up for yourself. If you're a coward when it comes to yourself and people, you're not gonna be able to help other people. And so though there were fears and things, fears and things that I had to overcome, fears and things that I had to get over, it wasn't all the time I would speak up because there was a fear, a fear of who it was, of who it is, you know, especially if it's someone that's close to me, it's harder. Not so much a fear of them, but because of who they are. You don't want to say anything. But I found throughout my life, I had to face those things and I had to say something. I had to speak up because if you're not able to do it for yourself, I'm not saying just arguing and nitpicking about every little thing. You want to choose your battles battles wisely. Everything does not need you to ad lib and ad lib and say something and add your two cents into it. Because if you're always talking and you're always on a cause, people not take you seriously because it's like you're always saying something. There's always something going on. So when something significant happens, they're not going to pay attention to you because you're always chirping about something. So that's how you want to be. You want to choose your battles wisely. You know, everything does not always require a, a combat. That's not standing up for yourself. At that time, you're being a, a, a tyrant because every little thing you have something to say about it. But sometimes, you know, you have to speak up now. And so the first thing is, is being brave and courageous for yourself and to yourself, taking care of you. Because if you don't take care of yourself and if you don't stand up for yourself and if you're not courageous and if you are not to the point where you're willing to take care of you, you're going to have a very hard time doing it for other people. You're not going to be able to do it for the next person. You're not going to stand up and defend someone because you don't defend yourself. And sometimes, ironically, there are people, it's easier for them to defend other people, but not themselves. But truly, 
Is that really a good thing? Sometimes people feel better by themselves if I'm doing for others, but they themselves are suffering on the inside. So you would have helped other people, but yourself and inside you're depleting and you're suffering. And sometimes you find yourself having a need. You need to help someone to feel better about yourself because you're avoiding something within you. So what I will say is stand up for what is right. Do things now in your life while you're young. Tell somebody they're wrong. You may be in a position to speak to a friend and say to that friend, hey, what you're doing isn't right. I'm not standing up for that. I'm, I'm distancing myself from this situation. A lot of times why bullies and certain people behave, the, the, behave themselves the way that they do is because there's no one that's speaking up to them and saying you're wrong. They already know they're wrong. But if they're unabled, then they're going to continue to do that. Bullies and people that do wrong, they need an audience. They need a gathering. They need a multitude. You know, the Bible talks about that. The people that were always going against Jesus, they did it in groups. And you find it now, people that bully, bullies will bully others in groups. They have other people. They stand together. Five people, four people picking on one person. Truly, they are cowards because they need an audience. But what if the bullies became the minority? They became the ones where people are saying, no, you are wrong. Now that you begin to bully the bully because wrong with wrong doesn't make any sense. But truly saying no, if they don't have people enabling them, if they have more people standing up and saying you're doing the wrong thing and we're not going to stand for it. No, you're not going to pick on this person. They will eventually fall in line. They're going to stop doing what they're doing. And so whether it's a bully or someone you just have to, you see someone being something happening to someone or even yourself, someone keeps picking on you, someone keeps doing something, you have to stand up for you. Even if you may not win at that second, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to speak up so you're not silenced and you're not afraid and you're not timid. Because if you're taught these things while you are young, you're going to take that into an adult, into adulthood. And that's going to, that's going to develop and it's going to grow into pent up anger and you'll be lashing out and you'll be carrying out what we would call displacement. Well, this person that you're not going to talk back to upset you. So what do you do? You lash out on those who are innocent and who you feel that you are stronger than them. And it's called displacement. Before you can stand up for others, First, stand up for yourself, and then you'll be able to stand up for other people. You'll be able to speak out for someone. You'll be able to stand with someone. Again, everything you can't get involved in. You can't get involved in every cause. You have to use wisdom and choose those battles wisely because sometimes people are in situations because they themselves are choosing to just be a certain way and put up with certain things. And only their own self-realization is going to be able to bring them out of that, that cycle. But in the meantime, guys, we can keep it simple. You just see something wrong. Hey, guy, don't do that. Those of you that's popular and you have the ear and you have influence, do the right things. Say the right things. Those of you that's bullies and you can just pull people, don't you know that you actually have an attribute to be able to lead and to land an impact? Why not use that for something positive instead of negative? Why not, instead of being a bully, bullying, intimidating people, why don't you use your strength and your assertiveness to stand up for those when things are done wrong? When you see something being done wrong, you say, no, leave this person alone. That's not right. Sometimes that's all you need to say. You don't need to resort to violence and want to beat them up and do things. You have to contact the proper chain and those who you need to talk to and let them know what's going on. But unfortunately, we're living in a society now that even the adults are afraid. Even the adults have their hands tied. Even everyone is trying to be politically correct versus standing up for what is right. And why, yes, they meet, there are some logistics and way to do things, and it has its moments, you find out most of the times people are simply scared because they're being taught to turn the other cheek, turn the other, turn your eyes the other way, pretend that you don't see, don't get involved. If it's not you, don't get involved. But truly, eventually, it will be you. Truly, eventually, it will be your loved one. Truly, it will be someone that you care about. Why? Because the more everybody turns their eyes away and pretend nothing's happening, the more everyone would follow, feeling helpless and powerless. And that's not reality. Be brave. 
Speak out. Speak up for those who can't speak for themselves. Do something that's kind. Do something that's right. And when there's danger involved, you may not be able to get involved, but you can contact the proper channels and authority if needed to say something. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. And that is all for Big Sister today. Bye.